Well, hey there, would you look at that? It looks like we might be able to do seven minutes in the morning live this morning. Stay tuned. This is Seven Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of Seven Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Hey there everybody, good morning and welcome to 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rigsby. When you get here, whether you're watching live or on the replay, do what Joe has done. Leave a comment, say hi, say good morning. And Catherine, good morning Catherine. See, you're not blocked. Catherine accused me of blocking her. <laughs> uh, that's a triple seven way to start the day. 7 Minutes in the Morning. It's seven minutes after seven. Well, I'm running a little bit behind. And as you can hear, there's a car pulling out of the driveway. Uh, but thank you for being here. I appreciate it. This is the show, one of the shows, where we talk about how to start growing, enjoy the benefits of business ownership and entrepreneurship. And today, 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 I have a topic that I remind myself of every day. And I thought it would be a great idea to remind you of it today as well. Our, uh, our pursuit should be for progress. Progress, not perfection. Let me uh, get over here where I can share this quote with you. This is from Seth Godin. Once you free yourself from the need for, perf for perfection, it's a lot easier to do work that matters. Once you free yourself from the need for perfection, it's a lot easier to do work that matters. We're about progress, not perfection. I even wrote in the description here that perfection, or more specifically the need, the, the perceived need for perfection, can be an enemy to progress. Right? Well, I need this to be perfect. I need to get the colors just right. The logo's in the wrong, on the wrong spot. It's too small. It's too big. It's the wrong font. It's... Right? We can create a, an, an insurmountable pile of crap that we have to overcome in order to launch something if we want it to be perfect. Nothing is perfect. Ever. Even when you think it is, it's not. Nothing is ever perfect. So, as Seth said, once you free yourself from this need for perfection, understand that nothing is ever perfect. Okay, now I'm free of that. Now you're free to launch as is. All it has to do is create value. And it doesn't matter what it is. It can be a website, it can be an app, it could be a short story. It could be an email, it could be a subject line, whatever it is. If it creates value, it's good enough. Ship it. Steve Jobs said, real artists ship. You're not a real artist if nobody sees your work. Right? So this whole idea behind perfection, yeah, great haircut for summer, Keith. Love it. And as you can see, I've moved to the back porch office, I think, I'm going to try it again. I think we're going to be able to have some poolside chats this year. Um, working on something to try and get that in place. We'll see how that works out. <clears throat> um, we get this idea that we have to be perfect. And it's it can be debilitating. right? It, it can definitely stop us in our tracks. Because perfection begets complexity. Complexity is the real enemy of execution, but perfection begets complexity. Let me explain that. When I say this has to be perfect, we can go down the rabbit hole and there are almost an infinite number of, of bits to tweak to make something perfect. I'll even go one further than that. This just occurred to me. Perfection is subjective. There you go. Perfection is subjective. 
Have you ever seen something, a piece, I call it the artist's curse, right? I used to make furniture, that was my um, mental relaxation, was to go in the shop and make a piece of furniture. Every piece I've ever made to this day, I can show you everything that's wrong with it, right? This is too short, that's too long, countersunk, not countersunk, I can show you everything that's wrong, right? The artist's curse. To anyone else looking at it, Oh my God, it's, mag it's magnificent. It's perfect. Yeah, technically it's all subjective. You're right. Perfection is subjective. So to the person receiving, I, I made a, an end table, right? They loved it. I hated it because all I could see was everything that was wrong with it. So it really is subjective. Perfection's in the eye of the beholder. If you can get past the idea that it has to be perfect and ship, winning combination. All right, I'm going to let that horse lie there and die. I won't beat it anymore. Progress. That's what I wanted to say. Progress, not perfection. All right, it's Wednesday. Uh, no coffee shop show, but I will be at the coffee shop. So if you want to come by and say hi, if you're in the area and you want to come by, Keith, you're welcome to come by anytime. I know it's a long commute for you, but we'd love to have you. Uh, if you're in the area, you can come by Old Town Coffee in beautiful downtown Five Points in Huntsville. Otherwise, I'll be back here, maybe in here, maybe in the office. I don't know. Have to tune in to see. Uh, with another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning tomorrow morning. Until then, you guys have a great Wednesday. Hey, why are you still here? Oh, no. Uh, really, what I came back for was, I, as I was signing off, I was noticed there were people still watching that haven't said hi in the comments yet. You have to say hi in the comments or I'll hunt you down. All right? Don't make me have to come hunt you down. All right, that's it. See you.